One of these guys is finally going to move on. That's the one thing we do know between the two. And strafing will get it first. 20 minute game, five minute quarters. If you're just joining us, salary cap mode. We're in San Francisco, California, here at the EA headquarters. First time we've been here in a while. Last time we were in San Francisco, Serious Mo beat Skimbo in mm. Madden 16 <laughs> for the guap. Hey, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have been friends with Eric Berry, so I'll take it. Uh, here we go, though. Ivy Strafing gets ball first. See the gentleman agreement on taking the delay, declining it. So it's going to be a first and 10 at the 25 after the touchback. Big shout out to those in the Twitch chat. And we're rocking and ready to go. Here we go. Ivy Strafen, he's pretty unpredictable on offense and defense. Let's see what he comes out in. Base 24. He's coming out and trips tight end. Let's see. Middle of the field. Is he going to run inside zone? Oh, no. It's quick snap dot. X couldn't get by his man on the left side of the field there. Had single coverage. And picks up a yard on the scramble. That'll be second and nine. Oh, very good block shed defense right there by Canes. His defense fought since the beginning. Great play. This is going to be an incredible game, folks. What? Go ahead and buckle up here. Vic. Oh! Gets it in. It's a fumble! Davis, and it's a fumble. It's on the ground, but recovered. <laughs> By Strafen, that was actually Ricky Williams on the wheel route that ends up coming in there and picking that up. Oh, he throws it, he fumbles it, and he gets the ball back. What a good break for Ivy Strafen. Canes almost got an early stop. Well, hand it off to Ricky Williams, who gets a nice block, but a great click on there by Canes on Brian Dawkins to make the stop. It's a gain of seven. I noticed that first possession on defense. Canes got his defense moving out like an old school shape defense. These safeties and corners are moving. They're not doing it right here. I don't I don't know if he's going to do it for the rest of the game, though. He's got a wide open. He'll check down to Vernon Davis, who takes care of the football this time. He's in plus territory down at the 38. Good patience. Hit your check down drag. Drag that only gets two yards normally, two to five. End up getting him 10 plus. Great check down right there by Ivy Strafen. Hand it off to Ricky Williams. Oh, man, he loves mixing it up, doesn't he? He runs it, he passes it. He's not like me or Kiv. We're just going to air it out. Or some people like Kerry that's just going to run the ball. He loves mixing up his play calls. Second and six now. Play action. Playmaker. You don't see a lot of that, but there is Amari Cooper. Well, playmaker's way to the 21. And we talk about that playmaker ability. Explain that to the, the folks at home. It's a chemistry you get from playing Madden Ultimate Team. A playmaker and regular teams goes kind of diagonal. With playmaker and Mutt, you can actually make him go right, left. He can stop on a dime or he can go straight up the field. Yeah, think about a quarterback that's scrambling out and he's saying, go deep or come back or go to the left. So he's. That's his way of directing traffic out there when the play breaks down. He did it right there, but he had to throw it away. He did it again. Didn't want to throw a turnover, a pick right there in the end zone. But also back home, if you want to do that, just flick the right stick up. It'll do it to your nearest receiver. Looking at chat here. I don't know what defensive calls we got in chat. We got it in super slow-mo. Oh, do we? Yeah, I, I, I got to have that chat going, man. I got to have it reeling by. I don't, you know, I got I to gotta have it. Pretty much lit. Uh, sometimes as that, the kids would say. That chat gets kind of crazy though at times. Second and ten. They'll hand it off to Ricky Williams. I probably just lost my moderator sword by calling that out. <laughs> oh, but you know what? Right there, second and ten. A lot of people are thinking it's going to be a pass. I'm telling you, Ivy Strafen. He's going to quick snap play action. He's going to quick snap a pass. He's going to run the ball. On a passing down, maybe Ivy Strafing is the most unpredictable player I've ever met or have ever seen play on the circuit. So third and six, promising opening drive here for Strafing. He recovered his own fumble on his first play. And there's Davis again. He's got to be careful with that spin. It's already cost him once, but that's a first down. Yeah, and definitely with his players getting fatigued, he's going through his plays. He's trying to get his stamina back right now. I don't think he'll burn a timeout right now, but he's definitely going to let this clock run down just a little bit. Don't be surprised if you see a run play right here. Already a slash unmod Scott Cole in the chat by A-Rod. Don't do it to me, man. I need it. First and ten. Play action pass. <gasps> 
boy. Got away with one right there, Mike. I don't know what happened, but it wasn't good. <laughs> he almost threw a pick. So first and 10 at the 10. Let's just go ahead and call it first and goal. You can't get to the inch line. And overthrows Randy Moss. Well, the winner of these ball games will be playing one of these guys. There's T. Davis and Kip. Kip throwing up the deuce. What's up, man? T. Davis, though, you can't sleep on that man right there. Oh, man. I, oh, my God. T. Davis versus Kip. Are you serious? That game is next. Oh, but here we go. We got to get we got to get sevens in the red zone. You can't settle for three strafing. There's Michael Fick. Let's see if he finds someone. Don't. And he'll just run out of bounds there at the five yard line. And that'll bring up a fourth and five. Scott, that was great defense by Keynes. Yes, he drove the field, but that's that little bend, but don't break, baby. Don't give up the big play touchdown. He made him work for it. He got stingy down there on defense at the end, held him to three. That's a stop if you're Keynes. Scott Cole and Skimbo along with you. Sorry, we've been a little excited here in this first quarter. Big shout out to Orangeburg SC. He's watching from South Carolina, big Clemson fan. So I had to say hello to him. Don't know him. But I know him now, a 3 nothing game. Who are these kickers booting it out of the end zone? <laughs> oh, man, but going a little in detail about this matchup real quick. I've known, like I said, both these guys for a long time. And it's so great to see one of these guys about to make a final eight run. And who knows, maybe go win it all. Because a lot of these guys have just come up short. I consider them top 10 players every year. And finally, one of these guys are going to get a breakthrough moment. <laughs> Because like you said early, earlier, they're playing each other. So it's finally going to happen, and I can't wait to see who it's going to be. So first and 10 here for Canes. They'll set their audibles. Forget about the delay of game. There's going to be a gentleman's agreement there that they'll keep it at the 25-yard line. So first and 10 for Canes. Time for him to bear down. Oh, Canes made a really good run at the Classic. I believe he lost the Master Gamer in the final eight. A game that he felt like he should have won, but didn't play where he thought he should have played. Wait, wait. But now you're here again. Time to make another final eight run, Kane. Well, everybody in the regs was playing with the Chiefs and the Pats and those kind of teams. Master Gamer comes out with the Bengals. Kane's had no idea what was going on. He, he had no idea that Cincinnati was going to be on the map there for Master Gamer. You're not lying. Let's we'll see what Kane's does here on his first possession. Vic, check it down to Hill and Tyreek to the 38-yard line. Nice play call. First play of the game, a little max protect. Playmaker hitch with a crossing route and a fade on the outside. Oh, he just showed one of the best plays in the game early. Let's see what he goes to here. By the way, can I say something that's going to make you super angry? Go ahead. This might be a game where we don't have to see the bunch 97,000 times. What's wrong with bunch? <laughs> oh, the hurdle with Vic! These guys are wild out here to the 47-yard line. Defend the bunch for me. I mean, there's when you're talking about competitive Madden, the big grief is, hey, these guys run the same play every time. How does that make you feel? Because that's not true. You might run the, the you might hit the A button on Pat Sell. How many different combinations do you have of Pat Sell? Yeah, so when people talk to me about bunch, like, hey, it's the same formation, same plays all game, it's not. I like to think of it like college with OU and the wishbone. It's the same formation, but are they going to hand it off to the fullback? Are they going to hand it off to the running back? Is it going to be a quarterback sneak? It's the same look every time, but not the same play. There's so many route combinations every time. There's a guy from Oklahoma talking about the wishbone. Go figure, right? And there's Vic all alone. We'll slide down at the 34. I'm going to say this again. I've known Canes forever in Madden 13 and Madden 25. Canes had the best, and I mean the best quarterback stick in those two games. I hated playing him. He could swerve the spy, run away from the spy. He was unbelievable with his stick work with his quarterback. So first and 10. 20 seconds to go in the first. This is opening drive. And there's something amazing about a guy in a bear uniform wearing 34. Unfortunately, that's Ricky Williams. He'll lose two. <laughs> first, I think that was the first run play, really, on a HB design run play of the game. Got shot down, lost a two. I'll be very surprised if Keynes goes back to it. This is our second major of the year in Madden football. Skimbo won the classic. We're trying to figure out who's going to win our biggest tournament of the year. If you talk about the prize pool, 
It takes such a long run to get here. You got to win nine single elimination games in a row. But if you do, you get the belt, you get a hundred grand. And by the way, this is a $13,000 game with John Madden football. That's a lot of money, Scott. That's, That's a lot. That's a lot of money. These guys are about to win. Vic. Oh, he's got the corner out. And he'll throw it over there, and Tyree can't hang on. He went for the possession catch there. By going for a possession catch, your wide receiver kind of drifts, gave, him, gave Ivy Strafen a chance to click on with his safety. If he goes for maybe an aggressive catch animation, he cuts in front of him more. They're playing salary caps, so if you're confused, you're like, where's Mitch Trubisky for the Bears? That's the reason. Uh, this is one of the most favorite game modes out there because you build your own team, but there's a cap to it. You can't go crazy. And, and that's why these guys are spending a ton of cap on this Michael Vick, and that was a huge third down mistake. Here's fourth and 12. Huge cap on Michael Vick. Huge cap on Randy Moss. Huge cap on Tyreek. And he's going for it right here. Here we go, fourth and 12. Oh, go ahead. 54 yarder from there. He doesn't, he doesn't have the leg. If he but Jason Myers. If he doesn't get this. You're giving Ivy Strafing great field possession. Looking. And you can tell by the reaction of Strafing. That's a turnover on downs. You talk about the cap they spend for Michael Vick, but the bad thing about Michael Vick is his low point and high point accuracy. And right there, he had him open, and he throws it into the ground. Michael Vick giveth, Michael Vick taketh away. Oh, I know all about that. This time he'll hand it off. And Ricky Williams will make his way to the 42. These are pretty close to mirror rosters. Oh, yeah. Especially when you're talking about the goons out there. Oh, yeah, you're going to have every one of these goons out here. But it's those little budgets. It's like, who's on Kane's D-line? He's got a bomb. And he picks it up and gets tripped up at the 11-yard line. And Kane points himself. He says, that's on me. I should never let him get behind and, the defense. And that's the thing about Ivy Strafe. He just ran the ball two times in a row. You just quick snap with a fade on your tight end. And he beats him deep, but he gets him by the shoes. That's a Snickers tackle when you're off your game, when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. We got to have some Snickers in the building. Yeah, I need me a Snickers right now. Especially after that last game. I think we're in for another one Ricky. as Ricky works his way to the five. Jeez, that Ricky is coming up big for Ivy Strafing right now. He just went to aggressive ball carrier. Let's see what happens right here. Gosh, you could fumble or you could truck your way in the end zone. Oh, this is dangerous being on aggressive. So second and four from the five. I have to see the uh, the marker here to see if he can actually get a first down. He can. That's huge. Yeah, so if he can get to the one-yard line. Under center punch. Ace, I think this is. Is he going to pitch it to the left? That's what the play arc says, and that's where he goes as Ricky spins back inside, and they'll mark him short. It's got to be third and one or third and inches. You say a full yard. Needs to get inside the one for a new set of downs. A touchdown would give him a two possession lead. Yeah, th this is by far obviously the hugest play of the game because are you going to get this to two possessions somehow? Or is Kane's going to hold the door and it's only going to still be a one possession game? This is huge. Goal line formation. Williams is at the fullback. He's this is going to 34. Has to. And can he hold the door? He does. Decision time. Here we go, Strafen. Oh, he's taking his three. He's taking his three. Not guaranteed. These are two very ex experienced Madden players. And he knows how important those points are. He would have had to make Canes go 99 yards. But what a goal line stand by the Monsters of the Midway, controlled by Canes. Two times. Ivy Strafen has looked amazing. And on offense, he's gone right down the field but he only has six points to show for it. You have to credit Kane's defense right here by just holding that door like my man RG always says. He did, he didn't give up sevens, he gave up threes, and it's still a one possession game, and he could take the lead. Trailing by six, Vic swings it out to Tyreek. That's a tough four yards. 
Oh, that's very tough. But you're going to take any kind of yards you get right now. Ivy Strafin is very good on defense. He's unpredictable. But Keynes has a really good offense. So second and six now. You can see the motion across the formation. Oh, he's got the tight end. Is he going to throw it? Oh, the crossing Comes route. back to Tyreek Hill. He had A he all knows. the way up the seam. He knows it. Look at him, the body language. He knows he missed a touchdown with the fade on his tight end. Would have had a pass lead with the left stick to the left. You probably could have let him anyway. <laughs> yeah. Got a deep right, left, left would have been the Anything. would have gone with the throw. But he's got the first down. He's got the ball right outside the red zone at the 21. Zeb in chat says, why do my corner routes never work? <laughs> There's an art to it. Handoff. That's two runs. That's two runs he's done out of inside zone, out of gun strip tight end. That's been blown up both times for two yards. That's got to make you feel uncomfortable if you're Canes, if you get down to the red zone trying to run the ball. So a second and 12 at the 24 after the loss of two. Quick snap. Will route on the left. Looking, looking. Will he throw it to Y? He will! <laughs> Dion can't catch up with him. So what I believe, I believe what happened right there, he had him open. He goes for the possession catch. By doing that, sometimes your wide receivers won't try to go get the ball like you would if you would have clicked Y right there and they would have jumped more. I'm not for sure, but that's definitely a possibility. Here comes a third and 12. 90 seconds to go. He's going to the same play. And he'll slide down, and there's a timeout there by Strafing. So we're going to have a 34-yard field goal. Keynes could have easily had two sevens. He missed the tight end fade for a deep, you know, ball touchdown. And he just missed a crossing route the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Ivy Strafen is very fortunate right now. He did not give up a touchdown on that drive. If you got any questions for three-time belt winner Michael Skimbo, you can ask him in the chat. Uh, Iron, Iron Man MK wants to know, how do you lead your passes, and why is that? Why is it important to lead your passes? Well, you, leave your, you lead your passes with the left stick. You want to pass lead right, you put your left stick right. You want to pass lead left, you put your left stick left. At the same time, you're clicking the button you want to throw it to. You got to throw the guy open. That's the difference. You get to that top tier. You can throw a lot of picks just by hitting A, I can tell you that. And there is Jerry Rice, the greatest of all time, to catch a football. We'll take it out to the 39. It's a big time defensive drive here for Kane. He's got to stop him. Yeah, and Ivy Strafen, like I said, he's been just going down the field with ease. I don't think he's faced the fourth down yet. Um, but if you're Kane's, I mean, you really want to get off this field right now. You don't want to play this bend or don't break defense right now. Skimbo currently number oh. one in the world. But your spot is slipping here. As Strafing throws across his body. He don't care, out to Randy Moss. Wow. How did he find him across the field? Ivy Strafen, what kind of lab work do you do knowing he's going to come back right there? He's playmaker and guys up the sideline, and then his vision goes to the other side of the field and sees him come back. That's such a great play. We're here in the NFC North final. He threw that one into traffic. Both these guys winning yesterday to advance here. And it's a long, long road. This is probably one of the longest roads in all of our majors. We talked about how tough it is to get on that grind. And here's a second and 10. 25 seconds left in the half here. Keynes has got to keep him out of field goal range. Yeah, I'm with you. I wonder if I.B. Strafe is going to call another inside zone right here. And he'll hand it off to Ricky. Ricky will get to the outside and spin his way, I think, into field goal range. It'd be a 50-yarder there. He has Jason Myers, 76 overall. That's 11 salary cap, so he might need a, another yard or two, depending on the win. I don't know. These guys and their kickers. I go get me a Greg the Leg Zerline, but what do I know? I'm not in this tournament. 
That's the most honest thing you've ever said, Skimbo. And, and I'm proud of you. Thanks. Third and four. Boy, able to pick up the loop and then just throw it away. It was a loop coming around to the outside. He picked it up and scrambled away and maybe saved himself three. He should be able to make this. He has a one, power, one mile per hour win behind him. 50 yarder for Jason Myers. It is up and it is good. Mm, here we go. Would have been good from about maybe 53 or four. Totally. He had a couple more yards to that kick. Let's see if it's another boot out of the end zone. Man, these kickers got these legs, man. They kick it right out of the end zone, don't they? Oh, my goodness. Curious to see what Keynes does here. He does have three timeouts, but is he going to take a shot down the field or hand the ball off? Because if you're going to try to throw the ball, you don't want to throw a pick, obviously. Oh, if you have a quarters three deep bomb right here, you need to bust it out if you're Keynes. This is a $100,000 play, maybe. Keynes still has timeouts. He'll slide down at the 44, and he'll use one here, and he's going to have a, a shot at the end zone. Yep, here we go. Michael Vick has one of the strongest arms in Madden Ultimate Team and ever in the NFL. Let's see if he tries Moss right here. Or Julio, I mean. Vick. Good pocket. By in time, going to the end zone. <laughs> and Julio, that's not a bad choice. But he can't haul it in. Struggleville. Here in the first half, strafing nine. Canes three here at the half in the NFC North Final. You want the latest information on Madden 19? Join my buddies, Farrells and Gibbs, each morning at 10.30 Eastern time for Madden Daily Drops on Twitch. They'll break down the newest ultimate team stuff that's going on in Mutt, X's, and O's. And, of course, if you guys didn't know already, and I think you do, you can link your Twitch account there to uh, out in Madden and – Hey, you get some drops. MDD's in the chat if you, if you like what Farles and Gibbs and the whole crew down there in Orlando has been doing. But a nice first half, very defensive. Yeah, keys to the game right now. I feel like um, Ivy Strafing has looked great on offense, but Keynes is not letting him get touchdowns. He's holding him to three every time. Well, if you love defense, you're going to want to look at this. An early strip, but somehow Ricky Williams jumps on it. That was huge. Yeah, big break. You're thinking, Kays, hey, I'm going to get a fumble early. And then Ivy Strafing player falls right on top of it. There's a field goal, and that put him up three. That was the opening score of the ball game. And it's been a field goal fest. You can get your T-shirt in the lobby. And just inches. There's been inches away from touchdowns. Guys breaking away. Maybe we had some bad reads here and there. That's two field goals right there, though, with inside the 10. You have to try to get those to be touchdowns. But, oh, you have a touchdown right here on A. A is wide open to the left. Oh, yeah, it was a big play, and it got him a field goal later. But, man, he had a touchdown on that play. <laughs> he knew it. And he knows it. And there he finally gets a field goal with 120 to go in the half, but strafing wasn't done. He, he still wanted a few more points, and he would drive down, end up kicking a 50-yarder with an 11-cap kicker. That would have been good from 53. So, uh, hey, the, you don't always have to bring a kicker to the party if you know what you're doing with it. And Canes will get the ball first here to start the third quarter. Ten minutes away to find out who's going to be putting 20 grand in their pocket and moving on to the round of eight. Usually when I say 20 grand, that's like lifting the belt kind of money. Oh yeah, that's a lot of money. That's like the classic, I went 25. These guys make final eight, they make just as, they're right about where I'm at. I can hear the salt, first and 10. Yep. <laughs> Here comes Keynes. Dion in motion, will keep him in the block. And he just throws it right in the back of Ricky Williams' shreds. Yeah, Ricky Williams just mad at him. He's not handling the ball. He decided to get in front of him. Totally joking. Ah, that was a great play. Just a little unlucky right there. So that's going to bring up second and 10. He's had some guys open downfield. Just hasn't had the time to find him. Or maybe hasn't had the guts to throw it. Trips tied in to the left. Another motion over. Same play. And has Tyreek, and he will hold on. 
plus territory at the 47. Yeah, if you're watching what, what Keynes is doing on offense, he's doing this motion over with his wide receiver to give him another blocker in this max protect little um, bunch tight end set he's doing right here. Or trips tight end, my apologies. And it's worked pretty nicely for him. First and 10 after the great throw there by Keynes. Here comes Julio Jones. Again, He'll another. pick up the blitz. And there's a throw to Dion, and Dion will pick up 16. Yeah, this Max Protect, he's having all day to make these throws. But honestly, like I said, Ivy Strafen was unbelievable in the first half on offense, but Keynes, if you do what you're doing, you're gonna go and get ahead of him right here. Well, he's gotta flip it this time, so let's see where the heat comes from. Left tackle, able to pick it up. Okay. He'll get it Tyreek, he's all alone. Great find, buys a little extra time with Vic, rolling back, playmakers him to the middle, hits him for a nice dot at the 20 yard line. Here we go though, can't settle for threes. You have to get a touchdown if you're Kane's right here. Tyreek's in the slot, along with Deion Sanders, Julio Jones is all the way to the right. Kane's. Good defense, sends the, sends the zone. And he'll throw it away. Boy, a touchdown here. This game will give him the lead. This is just the difference right here, honestly, with Madden players. It's what can you do in the red zone. If you watch EMB, their red zone has been unbelievable. Right here, if you have any kind of lab work on red zone, this is the time. Once again, throws it to the boundary, and now it's first. And goal from the seven yard line for Keynes. Here we go though, like I've been talking about, it's at the seven, the hardest place really to score from in Madden as far as touchdowns. I'm curious to see what Keynes got cooked up. We got, let's go. See if he runs inside zone. Every, two times he's run inside zone, it's been blown up. I'm curious to see if he does it again. He'll go to the air. Quick throw. That almost hit the cameraman. Oh yeah, Strafin's user was on its way over there. Yeah, I know he overthrew him, it could, but he could have been picked too. Might have been a good overthrow. So that's going to bring up second and goal. Seen several hey, let's go. teams go to some hitches here, but I think he's too far away. Oh, oh you're pull never, off the hitch. You're never too never far too far away for the I, hitch. I've seen it this week. <laughs> Vic running Canes. Great job on the click in there. Two players converging and just has to throw it away. Yeah, I mean, like I said, if you're Canes, you, you have to have a better red zone play right here. Like, this is it. You knew you were about to go play for a chance to win $100,000. You have to have something right here in your back pocket on this third down. Here comes a third and goal. Trying to find our first touchdown of the game. Vic. Standing, gives it to Sharp. He breaks it. Oh. Almost got away. They'll mark him down at the three-yard line. What do you do? <laughs> you take your three. Both these players are taking their threes. They're not going to gamble at all. Good move by Kane's honestly taking your three right here. But, man, one of these players will bust this game open if they score a touchdown. Q-tip asks, can you kick it? Yes, you can. We've had... Five field goals now. It's back to a three-point game. Yeah, that's disappointing, though. Both these players not being able to come through with some kind of red zone dot. You have to come into a tournament with, worth this much money having something. You've got to have something for these kind of situations. Trips to the left. Play action. Oh, he's got him. All alone is Jerry Rice trying to make a man miss. Double spin. And he'll get all the way down to the 37-yard line. Puts him in a little spin cycle. I don't know what happened to that coverage. It was a busted coverage on the right side. He hits the post route. And just like that, Strafen's almost just about right back in field goal range. Remember last time he ran the play, he playmaker Cooper up. So Keynes came down. And Jerry Rice was all alone in the tender space. Good call, RG. And back to talking about Ivy Strafen. He's one of the most balanced player in the MCS. He's going to mix up that inside zone with a quick snap pass play. Here we go again. Looking, finding. 
And he'll take it to the 25. I like when I drop my mad knowledge and he call me RG. That's oh that's like a badge of honor. Did I I'll take it. it. I called you RG. Oh, oh God. Hey, I'm getting on my horse over here. Oh, my. First and 10. <laughs> but here we go again. If you can't really score in the red zone, this might be the time to take a shot. Run inside zone. And there's Williams. Ricky will spin. Rumbling, bumbling all the way down to the seven. Scott, I feel like we've been here before a bunch of times. <laughs> Ivy Strafen has the ball with inside the 10, first down. Well, they've been knocking on the door, but at some point, somebody's got to bust in here. Three point ball game. Touchdown is huge. Likes this single back right here in the red zone. Are we going to see another toss? A little wham. And gets hit and then corralled at the seven yard line. So he'll go nowhere. Still second and goal from the seven. Yeah, here he comes in a formation we haven't seen all game. I've been talking about what do you guys have for this red zone? Are we fi is he finally going to bust out something right here and get a touchdown? No tight ends. I love how Keynes has been playing defense down here. Play action, the wheel, one hand grab. There it is. The biggest play of the game. We haven't seen that formation all game. He dials it up. Aggressive catch in the end zone. And this will make it 10. No tight end on the field. I mean, Vernon Davis was over in the slot, but you get what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. He puts himself up you had double know, digits. You had to know if your Kane's right there, like you said, it wasn't a strong look for a run play. You had to know a pass play was coming. It was pretty good coverage right here, but he just ends up going up and gets the ball in coverage. Rake, uh, a guy by the name of Rake5906 in chat, says that's a bailout. That, that looked legit to me. Oh, that looked legit. Who caught that pass? Is that Julio? Was it Moss? Who was it? I need to look. I'm pretty sure it was Moss. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's a bell. I don't know. You're asking me questions now. I've already moved on to the next play. <laughs> play action. The chat will know. The chat's undefeated. They'll know who caught that. Oh, yeah. And that's going to bring up second and ten. Must score. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. You have to go. Honestly, you don't have to go get seven. You'd like to, but you have to obviously make this a one possession game. You have to do it quick. Because the clock is not on your side right now if you're Canes. It was Vernon Davis, who I mentioned, at tight end. But the, the, no tight ends were. He went out of tight end position. He was lined up in the slot and wheeled himself out there. Oh, that's. Dion. That's the animation you want to knock it away. But he holds on to the football all the way out to the 44. Yeah, let's see if Kane speeds up the tempo or he stays relaxed. Wants to give his players time to, you know, get their stamina. Or is he going to try to push it really quick right now and start quick snapping some plays? Yeah, I'll definitely say that wasn't a bailout then. You run a, a little wheel down in the red zone, high point it. That's easy. Scream! The first time all game that I've seen where Keynes has done this max protect with a motion over block. And finally, finally, Ivy Strafen dials up the heat, and he has someone come in untouched. So that'll push him back to the 34-yard line. It'll be second and 19. Quick snap. Here we go. You're going to have a crossing. Oh! It's going to be picked off by Strafing. Perfect timing, and he's got a convoy. Oh, great click on pick by Ivy Strafen. He, oh my God, what defense. I don't know what zone that was, but he played the heck out of that crossing route. You see it is dropping back with Rod Woodson, the legend. And he'll take it into plus territory. And he's got a chance to come down here and maybe put this game in the fridge. Oh, yeah, and Rod Woodson just made my salary cap team. Ricky can't get free. Good run play, definitely. Probably should be going down to the fourth quarter right here. Well, you see T. Davis, you see Young Kim. That game's coming up. Oh, oh, oh that's going to be a good one. Cardinals, Seahawks. That's the NFC West. We're in the NFC North final right now. And put your fours up in chat. Stop hitting GG and put your fours up in the chat. We still got a way to go. It's not time for the GGs yet. Anything can happen in this final five minutes.
But you can't argue because strafing is in the driver's seat. Got to clutch up here if you're Canes. You need some defensive stop here. You got a third and nine at the 46. This is a good time to do it. You have the crossing route. Oh, oh he jumped the around. He throws a pick. He's gone. Is that Brian Dawkins? Michael Vick got to make Vick miss. Oh. It's my man B. Duck. Oh, my gosh. I be strafing. You did this yesterday with Drag. When you have the game, you're trying to let him back in it. Great defense right there by Canes. He's got to get points now. No time to talk. Here comes Vic. He's on his horse down to the 14-yard line. There's, there's that. Vic's always on his horse, by the way. I mean, he never gets off of it. Look at it again. Oh, that was a lurk. That, that wasn't even a zone. He went over there and got that himself. Great user by Canes. Oh, and the people in the back are hyped. Oh. Was that Rod Woodson again trying to jump that corner route? Boy, the legend making some plays here. We got multiple legends out there. That's the cool Let's thing go. about Madden Ultimate Team. You build your own team. Oh, oh my God. He did have the post route. I wonder if we'll go back to the same play. Second and 10. Bill goal's not terrible, but he needs a touchdown. He needs something positive right here. Yeah, he and Ricky went, Williams will take it to the 11. He went to the same play, but I promise there's this window for this post route on the slot wide receiver. If he high points, he might have possession, possession on the defensive back. Lucky in chat thinks he had B wide open. That's 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 who I'm that's kind of who I'm calling out too. Let's see if he goes back to the same play. Oh, he's in bunch. Bunching it up here on third and six. One and cut. Get it to Ricky. Decision time. You got to kick. I don't know. Come on now. He's got three timeouts. It's a 10 point game. You're so close to the end zone, though. Are you going to end the game right here? It's three yards. You're so close. You don't know if you'll get a chance like this again. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I think he's going. If you have a play, you call it right he's here, going though. For it. Fourth and three. He's back in the bunch. Maybe fourth in the game. Canes looking, has time. And there's a shed. And Strafen says he's got him. Turnover on downs. I, I'm just not sure about that play call right there. You haven't gone to the bunch. You motion over. You have hitches and curls all over the field. You have to trust it. If that's a play you called, you have to throw it. You cannot take a sack right there. His brother suspect was representing the 49ers. Came up short against Kev. And there's Ricky. And I'm not sure he's going to have a chance to avenge his brother's loss. If you're IB Strafen, which like I've said from the beginning, he's one of the most unpredictable players on the circuit. He should run the ball every time, take all this clock, and just punt the ball. You're up two possessions. The last thing you need to do is throw another, another pick up to him. Keynes has got the hoodie on. Might be too late for that, the hoodie up. <laughs> oh, man. Letting that clock run, should just hand it off here. Wonder if he is on conservative. He'll hand it off. We're about to find out. There's a big hit. And I'll let you guys know back home, if you go to conservative, you can't spin, you can't juke, you can't do any of the special moves. So right there, you know IB Strafing is still on balanced. That's a good change for Madden 18 into 19. Because at Madden 18, you can be on conservative and still get wild. Oh, yeah. Not this year. Great call out. Second and nine. Should totally run the ball at this clock, go all the way down. Got to have the two minute warning here. He will hand it off. Ooh, he shot the gap. You got to try to get a hit stick right there and click back on. Oh, okay. You got to click on and try to hit stick right there. Third and nine. Two minute warning. Here we go. Like I said, if if I'm in IB Strafe and shoot right now, I'm just running the ball and I'm gonna punt. But he's crazy. He might I don't know. I think he might pass. And it looks like he is. Huge play right here. Here comes the screen team. 
and he doesn't take a sack. He throws an incompletion. That's the worst thing you could have done right there. Here's in the players' lounge right here, Skimmo. This is what they're talking about in this game. I played games. I played Ryan, too, earlier in the year. How did both of those games go? Oh, I beat Ryan. Can't beat Thinking about clock management as opposed to just scoring. Right. Probably about fourth quarter, honestly. I, I'm gonna tell you, I don't like the shorter game that much. I'd rather have much possession as possible, unless I'm up. You know, if I'm up seven, third quarter, I'll start practice. If I got ball, then I'm up. It's three points, so it's actually not. Heard from Clef the God there, hanging out with Rico in the Players' Lounge. Oh, oh boy, what a fight! Tyreek to the 32. Does still have all three timeouts, and you got to hold them. If you're Cage, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot call a timeout on this drive. You have to get a field goal or a touchdown quickly. It makes you think about him not taking a field goal earlier. And he'd be driving down to tie up this game. Exactly. Well, you pretty much called me an idiot for saying take your three, but you know. I didn't call you I an got, idiot. I got zero belts. I just said I don't know what I would do right here. <laughs> Under 90 to go. Single elimination, win or go home. You're looking for a deep crossing route. Ivy Strafen knows he's, oh, good check. That's a first down by Dion trying to get away. Got a shoelace there by Sean Taylor. Getting yeah. prime time to the ground. And man, that new animation they put in this year, that one cut feature, my goodness, he gets on his horse quick. Both these guys, huge fans of their teams. Canes loves the Bears. And obviously you know about Strafing and the Vikings, and he'll throw it away. Stop the clock. Good. 107 to go. Oh, At I, some point here, I mean, do you think about a quick hitter, a field goal, and then? Yeah, you, you can you can throw it in the middle of the field if you got a post route going deep. But I don't like how fast he's calling a play. His wide receivers are tired. He has to take his time, definitely when the clock's not moving. Yeah, it looks like he's going to try to have a corner route or a deep post route. It's going to be second and ten. Max protect. Coming up on one minute to go, and there's wide open Tyreek, and he will get out of bounds. This is where I kick it. You can argue anything uh, right here. Uh, <laughs> Every play. <laughs> I, I'm going for shots in the end zone if they're there or routes out of bounds. I don't, I'm not kicking three right here, Scott. I'm, I'm looking for a touchdown right here. Still does have three timeouts, and there's the scream, and now you're out of field goal range. Yeah, and this is where I'm. I've called a few games. I know you've played a lot of games, but I've called a few games. And this is why I'm not in the tournament right now. Of course, if he kicked the field goal earlier, he'd be going down to try to tie this thing up, and there's a dip, and he dot to Dion at the 16, and now you got to go for seven. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. It's going to be a quick snap, obviously. Something for a high point. Oh, he's got all his backups in the game except for Julio. You got to throw it to Julio right here. Let's see where he goes. Trying to just run away. Oh. Gets away from one and does stop the clock. If you're Cage, you have to take your time calling a play. He's not even looking at his team. There you go. Thank you. But, but this is where I come back and say, once you get to this point in the game, you got to burn that timeout. Just burn it. Oh. You know you're in an onside kick situation from here on out. There's no reason to hold these timeouts anymore. Yeah, oh, for sure, Scott. And it just makes you wonder how many times has he been in this situation on, just like on. this. Thick. High points, and it's picked off. And that's going to be GG. It's Ed Reed. He's going to clinch it for that man right there. Wow. I can't believe it. It really just come down to red zone offense versus red zone defense. Strafing getting the better of Canes. You can see two competitors got so much respect for each other. They're running out the clock. That game's over. 16 to 6 is your final score. Strafing, 20 grand richer. He's going to be moving on to the final eight. You, you mentioned it in the pregame. One of the, you know, both these guys have been on a journey. And finally, one of them is going to move on. The only problem is they played each other. Let's take a look at some of these highlights here, Skim. It was a field goal fest early. Oh, yeah, early on. It was just really the battle of who could get a touchdown and who could take three. Like I said, early, Case thinks he has a strip fumble, and Ivy Strafen falls on top of it. And here comes a field goal. We're going to see a couple of these, I think. 
Yeah, there's going to be a lot of them, eh? Field goal number one. Oh, this could have easily been a touchdown, but good click on by Kane right there. Shoestring tackle makes him go down. Several plays, several reads that could have led to touchdowns, several shoestring tackles there in that first half. Oh, for sure. That's field goal number two. Here we go. A was a touchdown. He hits the crossing route. Still a huge play, which ended up leading the three later on. Here's the field goal to finally get Canes on the board. It was a three-point game at that point with a minute 20 to go in the half. And Trafin ended up getting a field goal right before the half, so he was up 9-6. to six. And then Jerry Rice got put in the spin cycle. I, I felt like Ivy Strafin looked so good on offense, but, man, if you're if, when you're labbing after this game, go find a red zone offense right now in the hotel. Well, th and then there he, go he busts that out. Well, I told you, the chat always stays undefeated. Trades in the chat, and this hurts because I am a Bears fan. Everybody knows that. Walter Payton was my hero. He said, the, you know, we're asking, why doesn't Canes kick the field goal there? Well, the Bears field goals, Bears, Bears don't believe in kickers anymore. That hurts.